Welcome to API Kitchen, where we cook up secure APIs. I'm confident, Stevie, you chef the cuisine in this unique kitchen. Today, we have a mysterious culinary tool in our kitchen that we will use to whisk up our conversation on broken authentication to new height. Can you guess what it is? Now, let's uncover our mystery box and find out. Ooh! <laughs> Look what we have here. A whisk with a missing or broken wire. <laughs> now you'll be asking, what does it have to do with APIs and security? Now this is interesting. Just like a whisk blends ingredients together, authentication weaves security into our APIs. It is best practice to ensure that our authentication process is as sturdy and as fully intact as a good whisk should be. So let's dive into the world of broken authentication and how it can compromise API security. To ensure your API's authentication is robust and behaves securely, we need to consider various factors. Let's take a look. First, does the API permit weak passwords or use any kind of encryption method that may not be suitable? Just like using the same bland spice in every dish, weak or easily guessable password can leave your API vulnerable to brute force attack. It is important to encourage users to choose and create strong passwords and implement a good password complexity rule. Next, we have the absence of rate limiting and account lockout mechanisms. Imagine a buffer where anyone can keep taking plate pulls without any restrictions. That's exactly what can happen without rate limiting and account lockout mechanisms in place. Implementing these safeguards prevents brute force attacks and protects against unauthorized access and many other kinds of attack types on API. Now, insufficient or insecure authentication methods are like using expired ingredients in your recipe. They leave a bad taste in your API security. Also, storing passwords in plain text or using weak encryption methods puts your user's credentials at risk. So it's crucial to adopt secure authentication practices such as hashing and salting passwords. Next, you need to ask yourself, how does your API handle errors resulting from invalid credentials? Does it go on just displaying verbose error messages? Now, just like leaving your recipe instructions incomplete, error messages that reveal too much information can give attackers valuable insights into your API's authentication mechanisms. Ensure that your API provides generic error messages without revealing sensitive details. Lastly, how does your API generate and validate tokens? These are very important questions to ask. But using tools like Bobsuit, we will have a practical demonstration of how to test manually for broken authentication in our next episode. For now, let's welcome our guest. Joining us today is an esteemed cybersecurity professional with extensive experience in API security. His name is Bolabo Awelewa. I fondly call him Bo. So good to see you in our airport today. Welcome to API Kitchen. <laughs> so, but while you whisk the butter for these delicious waffles you're about to make for us, I'm just going to dig into the first question and let's get the chat on its way, right? In your work at InfoPrev, can you share a real world example where you encountered a challenging broken authentication issue and how did you successfully mitigate it for your client? Okay, so for most of our clients, we provide managed security services, which is web application firewall services or offensive security services. Mm -hmm. So we had a particular client that didn't protect their passwords, mm -hmm. and also they use default password, which is admin admin or admin password. Mm -hmm. And we discovered this when a user trying to send um, a message to the web server, and we discovered that first, the password was weak, and secondly, it was in plain text. We imagine if an attacker handled that, they will be able to get authorized access to their platform mm -hmm. and be able to maybe elevate privileges and do a lot of spurious mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. While you're still on that, you know, I'd like you to speak more on um, testing. I know you said something around providing offensive security services. When it comes to testing for broken authentication, what are some common mistakes or oversights that developers and organizations tend to make? And what advice would you give to our audience to avoid falling into these pitfalls? So... Typically, when a developer is developing an application, they look at ease of use and experience. Mm -hmm. So they get to overlook some things like weak password policies. Mm -hmm. So your password policy has to be complex. Mm -hmm. You know, the length, the complexity, mm -hmm. ensure you have history in place so that you don't reuse an old password. Mm -hmm. 
Secondly is improper session management. They don't um, set up session timeouts and they don't ensure the session is logged out when they are done, when you close out a session. Mm -hmm. And for this, you need to put out proper session timeouts to ensure that the session times out after an idle period. Mm -hmm. And if someone closes a session, then you effectively log out. Mm -hmm. So that helps you prevent against session hijacking, mm -hmm. which an attacker could do. Mm -hmm. Hijack a session, you would still think is a legitimate activity or transaction, mm -hmm. and they will be able to perpetrate fraud or any spurious activity. That's very, very scary. And I'm very glad that you're able to use um, the proactive and the proactive perspective of offensive security to find this out. What if your client didn't go for that and just sat back to they were attacked? You know, and they won't have, you know, deliciously secure APIs like we talk about here. Thank you so much. So now that you've finished talking about API security, can we eat now? <laughs> Please make us those delicious waffles. <laughs> All right. So I'll just pull. Thank you so much, Bola Bo. That was indeed a feast of knowledge. Join us next time as we explore another exciting API security topic and unveil a new mystery box item. Remember to subscribe to Cecinet TV and make sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss new episodes of API Kitchen showing each Thursday. Until then, keep your kitchen clean, your code cleaner, and your APIs secure.